Hello everyone, Skarke here. This video will give you 5 quick tips on how I think you should approach combat in Rising Storm 2. Rising Storm 2 is a very very hard game and you will die a lot, like a lot. There is no escaping death in this game. But you can do things to improve your chances of success. And here is a list of 5 things. I think it's a good start to improve your chances of winning and getting a lot of kills. Alright, number one, avoid proning. You become a very easy target for your enemies in this game when you go prone. For example, if I lay prone here, if they see me over there attacking C here, it's very hard for me to move when they start shooting. If I instead would like crouch here maybe and lean up and shoot and then I start to take fire I can quickly move behind cover. And for example if I lay prone here, I lay prone here and I snipe the enemies as they move the If there's an enemy coming here, it's, it's hard for me to like quickly turn around and shoot him. And I also lose a lot of situational awareness when I'm prone. It's easy for him to just come around the corner and bam 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 bam. And even if I manage to like understand that he's pushing me, if it, since he's standing up, it's very easy for him to move around and shoot me. So avoid proning as much as you can. This doesn't mean that you can't prone. For example, MG, you have a good MG spot and you want to set up your MG, sure, go prone, that's completely fine, that's how MG is, you want to set up your MG. And also for example, squad leader, like, you're playing squad leader and you're like, maybe, I don't know, hiding here, that's also completely fine, spawning your guys in. But there's a rifleman or a grunt or whatever, try to avoid proning. Number two, be aggressive. You have to be aggressive in this game, both as attackers and defenders. So for example, here on Dongha, push up, push the flank, push the middle, push the right flank, left flank, whatever. Just remember to push. You can't, you have to be aggressive. You have to get in there. And it can be worth dying two, three times pushing and then finally get getting through and get that epic kill streak going. So for example in Dong Ha I would come as I ran up here and I would push up here because the defenders they will spawn over here if they don't spawn on their squad leader. And push up and cause chaos in their lines. Get in the cap zone and I kill them. Or just be behind the cap zone and shoot them as they run in. And you have to play this game Call of Duty style. I've seen a lot of players like, oh, this ain't Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. But all the good players play this game like Call of Duty. This RS2 and R2 has so much more in common with Call of Duty than Arma 3, for example. This is not the Milsim. This is a really fast paced action game. So get in there, be aggressive. Don't be afraid of dying. Number three, positioning. You wanna position yourself in this game where you see the enemy approach into the cap zone. So for example, here is C cap zone of Dongha, aid station. And I have gotten a lot of kills once, just sitting in this bush, watching the attackers right side as they approach. And they will come here and try to get into the cap on this hill over here. And you just sit here and you snipe them as they come. And you don't have to, you can be in the middle, you can also be on the flank. For example, another good position, which is a bit more dangerous though. It's like over here. 
Now I see the whole middle as they approach into Charlie Cap. And it doesn't really matter if it's on the flank or if it's in the middle, as I already said. You just want to like watch from their spawn into the cap zone. And this goes both ways as defenders or attackers. So if I was attackers, I would come here. You come from here as attackers. Push up here. Go up here. And I would l try to ignore the cap zone as much as I can. Push up here. Get behind the cap zone. And move up. And move in. And then shoot the defenders in the back. Because most players, they will sit like this in the middle, watching in the cap zone, waiting to get shot. And if you are over here, easy kills. Number four, don't be afraid of hip fire. Hip firing with every weapon is very consistent in both Rise and Storm 2 and RO2. And a lot of times in close range combat, it will be the right choice for you to hip fire. Even with the bolt action rifle, for example. Number 5. Follow the good players and see what they do. That's what I did when I started playing Red Orchestra 2. Like, I haven't come up with my play style and the way I play myself. I have studied other people and that are really, really good at Red Orchestra 2 and mimicked what they do. Of course I have found positions and stuff myself, but uh, most of the things is not from me. It's from other people. And that's what you should do. That's how you improve in the game. So that's the video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you guys like this type of content I would try to create some more. This is a new thing for me and yeah I hope everybody has a great day. See you later guys.